Most brands of CO2 desktop laser systems will not allow you to function with the rotary. You know who I'm talking about. Fortunately, with the Muse Core and 3D system and their awesome removable floor, this is possible. Stick around and I'll show you how. This is the newest version of the rotary riser combo. With it, you get your riser and you get your rotary system. The rotary is a friction-based system that will actually use gravity to make your object turn. And on the riser, this has the new feature of having a pass-through built into it and the honeycomb rails so you can engrave at the normal height. Now I've set the riser aside. The first thing we want to do is to remove the floor off the bottom of the Muse. Get some help if you need to because this is an expensive machine. You don't want to risk damaging it. So you don't rest the machine on the glass handle. Just crack that lid a little bit when you're leaning it forward. The removable floor has 14 screws that hold it in place. Go ahead and remove all of those and then we're going to set the floor aside. Now gently rest the muse back down. So we're gonna move this aside so I can work on the riser. It's heavy, so be careful. Get some help if you need to. I'm gonna grab Jordan who's working the camera and he's gonna help me out. Now we're gonna attach the floor to the bottom of the riser using the same 14 screws. So now that the floor is attached, we're gonna rest the Muse on top of it. The Muse is heavy, like I said before, so I'm gonna have Jordan help me out again. There are four holes that the feet slot into. Now be careful, you don't want to have the gantry moving around and slamming the back while you're doing this. You good? Ow! Watch, watch your fingers. Now it's time to put the rotary into the system. You can place it with the motor facing either way and you can adjust the direction that the rotary turns in the software. So place your rotary inside of the Muse. I have it with the motor on the left side. So we're gonna take the cable and the small end, we're gonna plug into the motor. And the other end, with this little point facing the back, we're gonna plug underneath the control panel. Make sure you have the Muse turned off when you are doing this and then tuck the cable out of the way. Now for any reason, if you wanna place it with the motor on the other side, you can do this. And we will just adjust the rotary direction in the software. On the rotary, there's gonna be two knobs on the side that does not have the motor. This knob right here will tighten your left to right motion so you can tighten down exactly where you need it to be. And then this other knob will raise and lower that so you can level your cup. So I'm gonna place mine and start with adjusting it. And tighten that down. And then you need to raise that until it's level. Then once you have it in position, use these two knobs on the motor side to tighten that in place, which will secure the cup. After you turn your machine on, go ahead and load the software on your computer. When you have the software loaded, go to the top left corner where there's the little green gear icon. This loads your settings. This window should pop up, select the rotary tab, and then toggle rotary mode on and push save. Now your machine is set up to use the rotary. If you're running into the problem where your image is engraving backwards when you're using the rotary, all you have to do is select your image 
and then using these orange icons at the top, select the flip vertical. The other option you have is to take your rotary, pull it out, and turn it the other way around. And that's how you get it set up with your system. The rotary riser combo is an awesome utility that you can use to expand the capabilities of your Muse Core or 3D system. If you'd like to get one for yourself, we'll link it in the description below.